Now, economies are suffering and trade is likely to continue to suffer. If you look at the latest numbers from the European Union, they make disturbing reading. Exports will likely drop 9.2%. At the same time, you're going to have imports falling 8.8%. $500 billion for the year, and that may be optimistic. Frank Appel is the chief executive of Germany's mail and parcel carrier Deutsche Post. He joins me now. Frank, it is always good to talk to you. Thank you, sir, uh, for, for, for making time. Um, what are you seeing? I understand, obviously, things are extremely difficult at the moment, but are you seeing ways forward in which things can get moving again. Yeah, Richard, hello. So definitely, uh, we, we have seen a clear pattern which started in Asia where we had a significant drop in volumes and and now have volumes came back pretty rapidly after you know the shutdown was lifted. We also see first time in Europe and uh, in the moment when some countries as happened this week uh, lift you know, they're uh, shut down to a certain extent. So we, we believe that this is the same model. It might take a little bit longer in Europe and the U.S., but overall, I think we will follow the same um, pattern. The challenge will remain that passenger airplanes will not travel for quite some time. That's the reason why the express carriers and the shipping lines have to carry more goods. I, I had to ship something to Morocco a couple of weeks ago. Actually, if I'm not being gratuitously pleasant when I say I, I used uh, your services um, I, I, and was I, first of all I was amazed that anybody is still moving fast freight and cargo around but also the measures that you were taking temperature being taken before I was even let into the depot uh, six you know the, the full social distancing so you're still a backbone of the economy aren't you and it can't be easy doing it trying to get things to so many different places no, it is a challenge, um, but, you know, we have a very clear purpose. We always say connecting people, improving lives, and I'm, I'm very proud to see how agile and how committed our global workforce is. You know, having 550,000 people around the world is it's amazing to see how committed the people are. They follow the clear instruction. We protect them first. That's the most important thing we have to do. The second is then to right. serve our customers and look for, for our capacity. And so far, our services hold up quite well around the world. Frank, Frank, what's the biggest concern that you have? Uh, if you look forward, not just three, four, five weeks or a month or two, but if you look forward to when economies have started to reopen again and we're in Q4, possibly Q1 of next year, what's your biggest worry about how this goes? You know, I'm too, not too much worried. I believe, you know, the pattern we have seen in Asia should encourage us. Um, you know, as far as, as we got into that, you know, in, in Europe, you know, in that challenge for six weeks, it feels like five years. Uh, and we sometimes forget how, how little time passed by. So nine months to go until the end of the year is a long period, and I think we will see a recovery. As I said, the biggest challenge for the global economy might be that we have not enough belly space capacity because passengers passenger airlines will not fly again and we have to find new ways how we progress uh, uh, goods and therefore we need longer lead times because the shipping vessels will continue to right. move but but I, I always say that companies I always say that companies like yours are the barometers so are your customers your big corporates are they saying to you Frank be prepared for us to ramp up to 60% of what we were, 70%, 80%, or are they saying there's no visibility on just how big it will be? Uh, I think the, the, the later is true. I think none of us has visibility, but we can predict certain things. Uh, the way will be massive um, uh, because consumers will start spending again. Uh, we have to reestablish, and I think the logistics industry has to play an important role in that moment, and we will. Collectively, we will uh, help the business. Uh, that's our objective, uh, and I think that my biggest worry is that we don't find a proper way to restart the economy. I'm feeling encouraged now with governments have taken uh, and uh, the actions they have taken in Europe. 
Uh, I see that now the U.S. is starting to move in that direction as well, despite that the U.S. is slightly behind Europe. But I feel encouraged that, that you know, governments are starting to think how we can restart that. And we will find a way. You know, we, yeah. we have seen so much adaptation already from small retailers who are now shopping online despite that their stores are closed. I think the humans are capable enough to adapt to the challenge, and, and I think we will jointly go through that. And successfully. Good to talk to you, Frank. We will talk more. <laughs> well, keep yourself well and your family, please, and um, we will talk more as it progresses. Thank you, sir.